How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon and I have a ton of news stories for you guys and a few big important updates about this channel and its future. First up is this Kung Fu Master Wu Song from Chengdu, China. Well he showed off his crazy skill by putting a venomous steak through his nose and it came out of his mouth. And that's not the only thing this Kung Fu Master can do. He can also carry buckets of water with his eyelids. Like the hook just goes in and oh my goodness. This is the craziest thing ever and this Kung Fu Master said he's been practicing things like this since he was 12 years old. And he was taught by several masters. Wu Song does have a son and he hopes that he acquires these skills as well. Next up we have some big YouTube news for you guys. Google has announced that they have been tackling the spread of terror related videos online. There seems to be millions of videos that relate to terrorism. Google has developed a smarter software that can spot extremist material. They have been working hard to clean up the site and get rid of the brutal content on this platform. There are more engineering resources and training software that uses machine learning to identify video glorifying terrorism and violence. Google has recruited more people to act as trusted flaggers who can make final decisions about videos and software struggles to classify. These types of videos we all know has been causing a lot of problems here on YouTube. YouTube has lost hundreds of millions of dollars from advertisers backing out from advertising on the platform. And that's because they don't want to be associated to violent videos. They want pre-roll ads and then you're going to be talking about ISIS. So with this new big investment, this can really clean out the platform and bring back advertisers once again. YouTube can be trusted again. This could be really good news for YouTube creators. We all know there's been major struggle here on YouTube. People like Scarce. He talks about the news, but he gets no ads on his videos. He has majorly been affected by this and actually right now he's missing. Where is Scarce? He hasn't made any videos lately and this could be due to the fact that, you know, he's almost paying to produce videos because of this whole YouTube boycott thing that's been going on. I mean, you shouldn't be paying to produce videos. This is a business. YouTubers and content creators needs to make a, a few bucks. And I know it's been a real struggle. Okay, so quick update on this channel, on my channel, Landon Production. I know I haven't been producing as many videos as I want to or that I used to do. And that's because actually I lost 95% of my revenue on this channel and I couldn't afford to just live every day just on this channel. But luckily for me, I didn't have all my eggs in one basket. I went on to produce other content on multiple other channels that I knew 100% was ad friendly. So I have been super, super busy creating a team and producing channels so I can make a living and give jobs to other people as well. I've created channels like Most Amazing Top 10, Top 10 Nerd, Top 10 Gaming, Life's Biggest Questions. That's just to name a few channels that has just been blowing up lately. I've been really busy negotiating deals, getting these channels started. I spend night and day just setting up these channels. There's a lot that has to go into it. And it's just me at the forefront running this business. There's no other companies or anything like that, that it, that's involved with all this. It's just me and, and the amazing team around me. So right now I am hiring a producer for this channel for the first time ever in seven or eight years. This is gonna help me create daily content for you guys again. I will be in most of the videos, if not all the videos eventually. So you're not gonna really be seeing these top sixes or top 10 videos on this channel. I tried to do those videos to try to boost up this channel because those were advertiser friendly videos, but I'm gonna be sticking to updating you guys with the news because I know you guys have been enjoying this type of content for the past eight years, so why change it? I wanna just get better at it. So I want videos to be much longer and I want videos to have way more stories in them, more in depth, and I wanna interact with you guys a lot more. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all of you guys who've been sticking through like all of these crazy changes on this channel. But you know what? I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. You guys are gonna have to deal with old man Landon still filming on this channel and I hope to be like one of the longest hosts on a YouTube channel all time. Like one that owns the channel. So saying all that though, over the next little bit, I am going away for a bit. This weekend I'm gone to VidCon. So Courtney will be filling in for you guys so you're still informed with the news. And in the next few weeks, I leave for two weeks and that's for my honeymoon in Italy. Okay, so enough of all that with the updates on this channel. I thought you guys deserved it to know what's been going on, but I have a ton more stories for you guys. Over in Brussels, there was a train station explosion that is being treated as a terror attack. The suspect is dead, officials say. This happened just yesterday, it was sometime in the evening time. A suspect was wearing an explosive belt who shouted out Allahu Akbar, which means God is great in Arabic. Police shot the suspect. A small bomb went off on a luggage cart, but the bomb vest around the suspect did not go off. So that police officer, who shot that person just saved lives. No civilians were injured in the attack, but now the country is on high alert. Over in the States, a US spy satellite has detected activity at North Korea's nuclear
particular test site for the first time in several weeks. The activity appears to involve some modifications around one of the tunnel entrances to an underground test area. The officials have said it's not clear if the activity indicates a sixth nuclear test. Well, Kim Jong Un has vowed that he wants to annihilate President Donald Trump and he wants to keep up its nuke development program. Kim Jong Un wants to start a World War 3 if somehow we can get past this whole thing between the states and North Korea or this World War 3 thing, maybe Russia's involved, maybe Syria, who knows? Well, Stephen Hawking believe that humans will only be able to live on Earth for just 200 years more. Stephen Hawking believes that we need to leave Earth and we need to leave now and find somewhere else to live. Maybe on the moon, maybe on Mars, I'm, I don't know. He said President Donald Trump has been taking the most serious and wrong decision on climate changes the world has ever seen. President Donald Trump doesn't believe in spending money or making changes in climate warming. He wants all the money to just be spent in battle. This could have a huge impact on the world in the upcoming years. Also in the news, Bill Cosby's second trial could be starting soon and he might be testifying. 70 year old Bill Cosby did not testify in his own defense at the first trial. His first trial was a mistrial. There was no outcome of the Bill Cosby sexual assault accusations against him. The jury failed to reach an unanimous verdict. At the time, he was facing three counts of aggravated indecent assault. If convicted, he could be sentenced for 15 years in prison. If he's convicted, I'm sure more of these cases will come to light. He's probably going to be in court for the rest of his life because if he lost one, he can lose all these other ones as well. Bill Cosby could be in jail for the rest of his life. There's a ton of accusations against him. So today, they're going to announce new jurors to be a part of the second trial. As of right now, there's no trial date, but I will keep you guys posted. From being sentenced to prison, potentially for life, to someone who might be getting out of prison. OJ Simpson's parole hearing is set for July 20th, which seems to be around the corner, and it's going to take place in Nevada. If he is deemed not a threat to society, he could be released. OJ is turning 70 years old on July the 8th and he has served 8 years of a 9 to 33 year sentence after he was found guilty in 2008 of armed robbery, kidnapping and a few other charges. If this hearing goes his way, he could be released in October. Well that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching like you always do and I'll see you guys all in the next video.